Yeah, I'd seen Elvis probably the year before, and I was like six years old or seven years old. And uh, I mean, to me, my life started when I saw Elvis Presley. Before that, I didn't relate to music or really anything. You know, I remember it just being very disoriented and felt <clears throat> felt like there was really nothing for me at that early of an age. And then I saw Elvis and I started playing right away. Got a guitar, took some guitar lessons, and my guitar teacher, a guy named Julian Akins, he was a guy in his 20s, I guess, and he had a band called the Julian Akins Trio, and he taught me. I took guitar lessons for about a year with him, and then I started uh, the Oklahoma Semi-Centennial came up at the fairground. And so my parents, I guess, <coughs> enrolled me in that in a talent contest. And uh, I won that contest, and, uh, and I was playing Elvis. You're six? Six. I think I was seven. I think I saw Elvis when I was six on TV, and it took me about a year to get good enough to play. <laughs> And I went up there and sang Elvis Press, two or three Elvis Presley songs, maybe a Buddy Holly song, I don't remember. But uh, but I remember at that time in Oklahoma, rock and roll, at least around the adults I was around, you know, that that was just the devil's That's music. Evil. That yeah. was the devil's music. It was terrible. But me doing it, being a little kid, it was it kind of took the edge off of it. And so they thought it was cute, and I won that. And little then Elvis. and then I. Uh, I started just getting bookings around town on TV shows and radio shows, and I played like boat shows and car shows and all that kind of stuff, you know. And it's really the only job I've ever had. But you I, were billed as? Or at least on some TV show you were... Little Elvis? Little Elvis. Yeah, yeah. kind of. Well, I guess so. Yeah. I don't have any well, We've got a surprise for you today, Michael. <laughs> Let's bring out Elvis. He's backstage. Watch on, man. <laughs>